Hey guys, this is Matt Grizzo with Taurus. Today I want to show you a new sheath I've been working on. Uh, this one has a couple new features that we'll be adding to the website shortly, so I'll show you that here. It's kind of all combined into one package. Um, first off is these milled out holes. I've got a setup now so I can mill them out real nice and keep everything consistent. So that'll be a feature uh, hopefully next week or so on the website. Uh, if you don't see it on there guys, you can always just uh, email me to add it or I can send you a separate invoice. But uh, anyway, that's the, the holes we got milled out. I've got it milled out for the uh, behind the fire steel. So you don't lose any of that once you mount a fire steel. And also milled out on the uh, piggyback sheath. Uh, second is the new belt loop design. Uh, this will be a feature on, on the website. I still like the leather loop for the smaller knives and even the bigger ones. Depends how you want it to hang. But um, this allows a lot of versatility with some of these larger knives. This is a BK7. We got a seven inch blade, got a thumb break on here too. But this is a uh, heavy duty D-ring. I decided to go with the D-ring instead of a uh, instead of a regular ring. This style ring would be stuck where it is. The, uh, the D-rings, you can actually fold down out of the way. So if you want to throw this package in your hiking pack or in your grab bag or whatever, it's there out of the way. You don't have to worry about this extra loop bending over somewhere. But it also allows the knife to, uh, if it's on your side, to twist with you and bend. So you could throw a, a leg strap on here if you wanted to. It drops it down just enough to where this bends about where your hip is. This is uh, four inches from the top of the D-ring to the top of here. So it hangs it pretty nice. Uh, so decent package. I ended up using scuba webbing. Uh, the, the reason I decided to do that, this is, uh, let me show you this here. It says heavy duty military grade webbing. Um, this is not the scuba webbing. But the reason I didn't choose this, I ordered both to try them. If you hear, hold this, there's about 10 inches here. It just flops down real, and it doesn't hold uh, hold an edge, it just kind of flops around. The uh, scuba webbing, there's about 10 inches, and it's just nice and stiff. Uh, when I bend it over, I'll actually wrap it in the, with a the, uh, the rubber mallet. To squish it down where I want it and it holds a really nice belt loop edge does a really good job nice stiff uh, it's not gonna flop around on you except where you want it to and it holds holds up really well so it's so the same stuff they use in Aries gear belts my Aries gear belt will be two layers of this like that so very good stuff um, very durable is the reason I chose to use it it's a touch more expensive uh, like 20 cents a foot, so it's not horrible. <clears throat> but I figure for 20 cents more, more a foot versus the other stuff, uh, you're getting a little bit more versatility. Uh, this is just folded over on the back. I chose not to rivet it. One saves in some labor of having to detent rivets. And it's not needed. I use the uh, 93 thousandths thickness kydex here, and it's it's not going anywhere. So I could show you that. Let me know what you think, guys. Uh, any suggestions for future sheaths? I'm trying to get as many different ideas as I can here. Um, I've been looking to do a drop leg style for quite a while, except I've been so busy I haven't had time to play around with stuff. Somebody finally ordered, um, I've had two drop legs ordered, so I was able to put this together and then uh, play around with some different D-rings and stuff. So this one I put together just as a kind of a demo. Um, so this one will be for sale if anybody's interested, let me know. I'll probably put it on eBay uh, today or tomorrow. Not sure. We'll see. But uh, so let me know, guys. I don't know if I'll do this standard feature on the website, like this setup, or uh, or just make all the options available. We're still kind of tweaking the website and making carts work, stuff like that. All the fun stuff. I do uh, for this belt loop folded over. I don't sew it at all. I don't have the means to sew anything. But I do uh, hot melt it. I'll melt it right through for the rivet holes that actually seals it right together and then I'll Chicago screw it. And these are super tight. So that's not going anywhere. And just a side note too, any of these piggybacks or any of the BK11 or 14 sheets, uh, this is the BK14, fits in there. Also, the BK11 will fit in there. 
Uh, both knives are virtually the same in the retention end of it anyway. The handles are different, but where the Kydex would touch, they're all the same. So. All right, guys, hope you like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, any other suggestions, let me know. Uh, you guys have been a great help with getting some of these ideas started, so keep up the good work. And keep, keep those suggestions coming, so it's always fun to try new stuff. And drain hole on the bottom here. Alright guys, have a good afternoon.